Hi, this is uh, the f first in a series of GMAX for the beginning modeler, video number one. Uh, the, the objective of this video is to introduce you to the tutorial series and make sure we're setting up your GMAX to get you ready to go to work. And we're going to have some fun. My name is Milton Shoup. I've been modeling in GMAX for 14 years. I've heard many people say over the years how hard it is to get started with GMAX. Well, I had a similar experience back 14 years ago. So these tutorials will target uh, that audience of new or beginning modelers, especially those frustrated by other tutorials and just can't seem to get their heads around how to use GMAX. Or they prefer a video learning approach over reading books or graphic tutorials. Sometimes you just want to see the motions required to get through the process. So. The GMAX most basic tools will be discussed and demonstrated along with easy going how to's with basic explanations. Nothing fancy, just get it done instruction. This series of video toots uh, will start with how to use GMAX in setting up three views, building and mapping aircraft, and progress to the exporting of your completed project to Flight Simulator. Later, I'll show you how to set up a new aircraft folder in Flight Sim to export to and fly your new project. My approach is all meat and potatoes. I'll show you step by step what to do, how to do it, and how best to be productive along the way. No fancy stuff here, just basic tools and get work done. I'll likely end this series with creating a basic panel and requiring required gauges using Flight or FS Panel Studio tying into your BC panel. I'll also demonstrate how to generate a flight model using AirRidge. Okay, do you have GMAX installed? If so, great. If not, see the links below this video to download GMAX. Be sure to get the help and tutorial files downloaded too if it's listed separate, if they are listed separately. Then come back and do the necessary setup changes. Uh, just down below this video, the links you'll see I did a graphic tutorial which is apparently very good. I've had a lot of great comments on it. A lot of people got started in GMAX using it. It's called the C162 tutorial. And here's a screenshot from that tutorial. So if you like uh, kind of a graphics backup to uh, a video tutorial, this is also one you might explore. And uh, that uh, a link to that tutorial is listed down below here. Uh, I've also provided links to the Sim Outhouse Design Forum and to the FS Developer Forum. A lot of good tools, a lot of good people there to help you along the way. Uh, so you might want to check them out. Uh, I mentioned the download uh, GMAX link at TurboSquid. Uh, other required tools like Lith Unwrap and uh, a conversion, uh, uh, Unix conversion tool called Convert. Very helpful in converting uh, one. Uh, unit of measurement to another, be it distance or speed or what have you. Uh, there's uh, also a link to download the system development kit for Flight Sim 2004. So uh, check it out. Go uh, do the things you need to do and come back. Uh, there's one other area of help. If you look in the screen here up top, it, in the help uh, drop down, you'll see a re user reference. There's uh, some light reading here if you'd like to just kind of get mm, exposed to some of the things it has to say. What is GMAX and getting started with GMAX? No need to go any further than that. You can explore it as you wish, but uh, we're going to cover all the things we need to cover, but uh, that might be a little head start for you. Okay. Uh, so let's get down to setting up your GMAX so that we can be most productive and get the best viewing experience out of it. The things that are important. Up here at the uh, menu bar, if you look at the Customize tab and uh, Viewport Configuration, things we want to focus on here. Uh, well, let's hang on, skip, skip that a second. I want to go back to... Uh, preferences first. First things first. General system unit scale. Uh, Flight Sim requires we export everything in meters. So you need to set this to one unit equals a meter. 
and leave it this way. Do not change it from here on out through your project uh, or you will not be able to uh, export to Flight Sim. Scene Undo. This gives you up to 60 undo levels. Looking at the uh, undo uh, tool up on the toolbar here. Gives you 60 undo levels to allow you to go back and recover things when you make a whoops condition. I've used it many times. Uh, the next thing we need to focus on here is nothing else here. Uh, viewports. Uh, down on the viewports in display drivers, uh, GMAX comes with uh, a default driver called Heidi not usable for what you're doing here so you need to select either OpenGL or DirectD one, Direct3D, one of these two will be just perfect for your video card setup. Once you select that you'll need to configure the driver so down here under appearance preferences check this box check 1024 check this box check 512 check this box you're done you can OK that and uh, we're good uh, under files <clears throat> very important backup 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 so we're going to backup on save we're going to select auto backup and give us nine auto backup files I set mine to seven minutes it gives you seven times nine is 63 minutes of uh, background backups and uh, this will come in very handy if GMAX happens to to crash on you you can always go back and pick up the last backup it made. Usually it's within three and a half minutes, so uh, use that. It is uh, very important. There is one other thing here that uh, not, not, uh, where is it? Back script, back script. Oh, yeah, I mean, you don't need to worry about inverse kinematics. You don't need to worry about animation. You don't need to worry about everything's okay, is said. Okay. Let's see, under viewport configuration, uh, probably one you'll visit often. No, nothing to do here right now. So that's the uh, everything except uh, unit setup. <clears throat> when you're working on a particular scene, you can actually uh, set this to whatever you want. If you like to work in feet and inches or feet and uh, decimal inches, that's fine. My, re my recommendation is kind of get used to and stick to using metrics. So you, you know, the system unit is set up on meters. It has to be in meters. So I just try to work in meters on this side. It takes a little bit to get used to it. But once you get figure out how big one inch is to a meter and five inches or whatever, you know, it, uh, it flows pretty easily. But your choice if... Uh, if uh, your three views have, uh, in your uh, dimensional data is in feet and inches or feet and decimal inches. Feel free to use that. You can change it any time uh, in the process and switch back to metric. So your choice there. But just remember, the most important thing to set up and not change is <coughs> the system unit scale. This must be at one meter. Okay? Very good. Okay, this is going to wrap this video rather quickly. Um, I just want to get you set up with uh, with those key settings because without that, everything else becomes a little messy and hairy along the way and creates problems down the road. So, next video we'll start getting into the uh, GMAX opening screen here. And we're just going to talk about the toolbars. There's the menu bar, the toolbar, uh, briefly about the command panel, uh, the things at the bottom of the screen, the, the uh, viewports, and the viewport management tools, display tools. So that's what it's all about, and uh, I'll see you back here on the next video. If you have any comments, drop down to the bottom here and, and add those comments. I appreciate that, and uh, we should be back here with video two shortly. Thank you.